Power by Ecotec. I came out here for the 360 to uh, fill up my own tank. We called it Willy Wonka because you get to go through and uh, the candy factory and uh, pick out whatever you like. Uh, but you know what, man? This is, the, this is the thing that I like most about your store, right? Is you can come in and you see all of the coral here and like you can see the adult forms of it inside of uh, the uh, tank and then you can go find the little frags over here, which the little frag may or may not look as cool as the giant colony does, but when you see it, man, it sells the dream, right? So when I'm here, you ask me which ones do I want, and like, how do you answer that? I'm overwhelmed. You know, like there's, you? there's hundreds and hundreds of corals, all little unique butterflies of their own. You, you know? were telling me you were looking for SPS, man, so here you go, man, how about it? <laughs> uh, and Willy Wonka. You know what's cool here is you have a mix in here of corals that have that like, you know, fluorescent pop, like, you know, the ones that just like pop out of your eye, like a neon sign. Yeah. And then there's also corals in here that are mixed with natural color pigment that aren't, yes. they're, they're highlighted by the light instead of fluoresced by the light. Exactly. Uh, Some look better under wildlife, believe it or not, you know, like especially blues and stuff like that. Well, you know what also I uh, picked up on is uh, everybody told me I was insane for doing a uh, SPS only tank the whole time I've been here. Uh, because Why? you have these little neat pockets all over the place where actually the coral themselves create shaded areas which are in the aquascape, which are ideal for other types of coral. So very funny you say that. When we first uh, had this tank running for the first year or so, I kept going back and forth with Josh to add extra zoanthus, some goniopora, couple of myceliums. And he did not want it. He didn't even want Ricordias in here. And now you see the tank, I think it looks just perfect. So it's maybe 80% dominated SPS. The rest is, like I said, Goniopora's, you know, some Euphilia. So maybe you can do a little bit of a mix. Maybe you can settle for 80, 20, or it's gotta be 100% SPS. I, I don't know. You know, so the, the thing that Randy and I were talking about in our live the other day was like, hey, do you gotta create the ideal environment for all of these corals, right? And then like, if I can do it SPS, but really, you know, I think of mixed tanks actually. The reason I talk about this is mixed tanks is you get into it and it's like people just kind of plug them wherever they go, but that doesn't work because that oh, right no. next to each other. Oh no, 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 like you say, there's a specific where they're put, you see that torch on the very back? That's the only spot that actually did well and it's actually growing for us very well. We're fragging it. Every two or three months we get a few heads out of it. Well, and then deep down in this well down here, is this beautiful Ghani down there that probably wouldn't be the greatest place for an SPS coral because it's kind of shaded by the other corals, but perfect for that organism. Yes, I mean, like I said, I mean, everything has a reason. You see the, the two uh, Euphilias here. We did a wall of Euphilias over there, hammers and frog spawns. All the gonio pores are back there. Why? Because it creates a wall for the flow, you know? So actually, I would call this a progression. Like, people often start with a mixed tank and say, just because you want to kind of catch them all, right? And you're yeah. just like, figuring yeah, out. You gotta collect them all. But the mixed tank is actually the hardest tank because you actually have to know what that organism needs to be able to thrive, right? So people then gravitate to a species-only tank, which is actually easier in many cases, like an SPS-only tank and a 120. Yes, it's true, because then you only have to cater to that one specific. It should be a little bit easier technically, yes. Well, then the next step is actually go all the way back to mixed tank, which is now I know how to master each one of these organisms, and so I know how to place them and build the aquascape and build exactly. an environment for them. And you're seeing that here. So, you know, when you're asking me, I'm, I'm taking pictures, by the way, of the ones that I'm going to share them with all them, right. but like uh, of the ones I want to get to the 360, but you know, the ones that for me are it's hard to say what your favorites are. Obviously, everybody likes those corals that fluoresce and just pop, you know, the big, bright yellows and greens. Yeah, I love contrast, though. You can have all you want the popping colors, but if they don't contrast each other, it's not going to work well, you know? I also really like the ones with, you know, the mealies and the things that have polyps that come out, and you can just see Yeah, you see how bossy those things are right there? Super fluffy. Right there. 
Yeah, uh, these pastel corals uh, up here. You know, there's uh, tablings. Just Gorgeous, right? Super, super awesome. And, you know, it. You know, it's funny because I, I walked in here. I'm like, oh man, I'm gonna go out. I'm gonna pick this one and that one and whatever. And then you're overwhelmed. But you're, you're overwhelmed with the uh, like you wealth tired of, of options. You know, like oh my god, how could I actually pick this one over another one? I'm gonna do Sensory it. Sensory overload. Uh, yeah, but uh, what I'm really excited about, and I'm, I'm I'm curious if I can hold back a little bit, but if I can get these guys and just let them grow out like a handful of the really cool select ones, which may not be the fullest tank to begin with, but it like grows out in this big monster. But you remember we were talking about earlier when I showed you the, the, the videos of this tank two years ago, mm -hmm. there was nothing but rock with maybe 20, 30 frags when we started. Mm -hmm. And then you see it six months later in a year period and two years. So it took two years to get to this, you know? So I think, I think this is a good point, actually, because it took two years to get here, from zero to this. Uh, from that, zero. That is the Dry path. rock. Uh, okay, and a lot of these just as little frags, right? Yeah, all of them. Okay, so in that spirit, there's like two kind of passes, because like, I think the average person would see, look at this and say, oh my gosh, how much does that cost, right? Yeah. But there's two paths to this. There's one, like, I right, gotta collect them all and fill up the whole thing, which I gotta go buy, you know, 300 corals. Or there is another path of, I'm gonna buy, you know, one a month or a three a month and just kind of like grow the things and let them get bigger and fill out the same area. It will take longer, but it's but a hobby. But they look better. They look correct. Mm -hmm. They don't look out of place when they grow with each other. They grow with the right pattern. If you and put them well here, they're not going to grow in the same pattern. They're going to change to thinner branches or maybe grow in a different pattern, mm -hmm. change colors. So that's the beauty when you grow them from frax. It looks right. There's no question in here is uh, when I look at these things, I look at the colonies, I, I'm gravitated to the big ones, you know, because you see the natural, like, uh, it's not, I wouldn't call them adult size, like where they're reproductive in the ocean, but yes. like where they look like they're resembling that. I got what, you, I got you, when they start din reaching the dinner plate size, you know? It, I, I mean, how can you not? I, I, and also, I'm a shameless, I can't help it, one of my favorite fish I see all the time is these chromis. Right, uh, I like love the, them. Green chromis, I can have a million of them. I never get tired of them. These are the, like the cheapest fish there is, dude. But like, it's so cool. I don't know if you're gonna see it in this video or not, but uh, maybe you guys can plug a piece of it in. But you watch them all dart together into the acros, and then they dart back out in like yeah, a natural cool, behavior. Right? And we see with all the pajamas in there, you know, they're all together. It's pretty, pretty cool, man. And I love it. They don't really do that same behavior without the natural habitat of all the acros in there. They could do it in the rock to some degree, but it doesn't have that yeah. same effect. It's just the flow is pretty strong with this giant power that we have in there. It's pretty yep. aggressive, you know? It is a, a very, very neat thing. So, I don't know, can we see the, the top down look? Yes. Because that is ready probably it? the coolest thing. Yes. I'm gonna have to grab my glow sticks. <laughs> Let's do it. Nice. All right, so it's time to start picking some coral here. Uh, I'm gonna openly admit, man, that I don't keep up on all the names. Uh, and uh, Vic's got 80% of them. 80! And Sean's got the other 20%. Yes, so we're thanks, trying, it's like a you, collaboration. Sean. I'm just gonna start pointing out some of them that really speak to me. Uh, and I'll be curious if they speak to you guys as well. But uh, the names are the fun part, actually. All right, so here we go. All right, so right here, Blue tips, pink structure inside of With it. Like red polyps? Yep, what is that this? That is Jason Fox Jolt. Jason Fox Jolt. People never grow a colony because everybody pays a lot of money for a frag and we haven't been fragging a lot, so many colonies doing pretty well. So one of the things that speaks to me again is like, I like different colors if within the same coral. And in here, I see white, I see red, I see blue, uh, speaks to me. Uh, also, though, right here, one color, uh, just uh, a yellowish green. What's the name? Oh, uh, man, it's in the tip of my tongue. Sean, help me with that one. No, that's Yoda. 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 Old school. Yoda. That thing has been with us for many years. Many, 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 well over a decade. A hey, fair warning, this could go on for 20 minutes. Uh, we're going to see a lot of different corals here. Hopefully you guys get good B-roll shots of either one of these things we're yeah, talking we'll show about. people. Uh, but... What about this one? Again, that's the pink. WWC Jello Shot. Jello Shot. Yeah. And we got pink. Jello. We got yellow or greenish tips. Really, really fuzzy. Awesome. Fast grower. Gorgeous coral. 
fast grower. Everybody loves that. Uh, okay. Like this is that pastel blue. It's when, like gorgeous baby blue, like almost white. It's yep. called the brain freeze. Brain freeze. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> okay, back here. That's a deep water aquapora. I want to say some. Uh, is that a bottle brush back there, Sean? It looks like it to me. Yes. Okay, what, like the original bottle brush. Yeah. Yeah, or a bottle brush. Or so, old school. So sometimes, man, the Super coolest stuff school. doesn't have to be the fanciest name or the newest, latest stuff. It's just awesome then, it's awesome now. Uh, green tips, pink, pastel as it gets closer out to the edges. That one, I know that we have a second one growing here. I'm a big fan of it. The name of that one, Sean? This uh, Kobe Bean. Kobe Bean. Kobe Bean. You should see that thing. This is in the white lights right now. You should see that thing on the blue lights. It's incredible, man. All right, big, fuzzy, green, yellow right here. WWC acid trip. Acid trip. It's a trip when you look at it, man. It's like the way it changes colors and the fuzziness. Uh, <laughs> I mean, I don't disagree. That's hilarious. These names we come up with, right? Uh, well, you know, it's fun, man. It's like naming your pets, dude. I, you know, I, my one of my dogs, his name was Running Bear. He looked like a Running bear and he bear. runs, dude. You, you, you name bear. your pets after what they do. It's fun. Uh, this guy right here, dark now, total let me, contrast. Let me tell you something about that call. That is ultimate stag. Gorgeous. That is the most beautiful stag you will ever get. It's purple with like neon green polyps and it glows blue on the tips. It is just gorgeous, man. That thing has been around for, I want to say, over 15 years, guys. I remember getting my hands on that call back in 2008. I know, I'm getting old. Looks like contrast in this case, you know, so it's, it's a dark, it. beautiful coral with really bright tips on it. It's awesome. Oh, I missed this guy right down in here. That is a, oh, that one down there? Right, is that what I think it is? No, what do you think it is? Well, gosh, I, I can't tell from here, but I, really I thought it might be the WD. No. <laughs> no, no. So no. that's a 20%, Sean, we need help. Do you know? <laughs> right down here. That's I'm using my hotline. Believe it or not, that's another pink tip. Oh, <laughs> We've is got there? a few of them in there. Okay. Okay, dude. So this, pink tip. Yes. this blue tabling coral right that here. That blue tabling is uh, Mr. Freeze. Green, Mr. Freeze. Mr. Freeze. No brain freeze, but, but Mr. Freeze. Green down in the ridges yeah, in between the bright grapes. blue polyps. It might be like little grapes everywhere. I don't know why. It does, actually. That's a I good way it. to describe it. I really love it. So when you say fluorescence, man, when you say when a coral just glows, it's this guy right here, right? That is that is such a basic coral. I know. Too. It's so cool. I love it, Ryan, that you're not after names or the latest and greatest, you know? You're after a coral. It speaks to me. Yeah, but that's how coral should be. I never understand how a coral goes so trendy and six months later you find a coral for a third of the price and then a year later no one has it because it's not interesting to people anymore. It's just, but that is the WWC yellow tips. It is green tips. with purple on the tips and it gets yellow on the very end tips. It is gorgeous, man. We love it. I do it. Does it grow Fat, fast? Oh, my lord. Run for the hills, man. It's yeah. a little too aggressive. Okay. Yellow tips here. Blue kind of body to it. Base is kind of a pastel blue right here. What is this? I'm going to have to use my, my phone line. I'm going to have to call my friend Sean. <laughs> <laughs> WWC Lemon Fizz. There you go. Lemon fizz. <laughs> uh, uh, awesome, man. Awesome. I mean, in, you know what's oh, funny? I got one more, guys. Okay, right I'm here. Trying I to mean, make that it's, money. It's just a, I mean, it looks just like a green stag to me. It is a green stag, but it's a different one. If you see over there in the front, oh, we yes. have the, the old school one. Oh, I want to say this is maybe, Sean, is it safe to say that's the Aussie Slimer or no? Yes. Yes? So let's move on over a little right. bit, right? Okay. What I got, do we got here? I got a couple of favorites in here. This blue guy right here. All uh, right. I mean, big fuzzy polyps all over That one is on the tip it. of my head. That is, um, oh, uh, too legit. Too legit. <laughs> <laughs> I'm serious. It is. It is isn't it? it. WWC too legit. It is too so legit. So it's this tenuous guys that is almost like, you know when I, if, if you've been growing acros for a while, the cores they start like baby blue, and if you get enough growth spurts like you can see right here. It gets like, like whitish baby blue, like really like smooth skin. Oh. And I'm just a sucker for them, you know? So that's what we call it too legit. I, I, you know, it's one of those things that I can, it's like, I, I don't know, you just gravitate to the fluorescence. So uh, here and here, 
I, you, you just can't help but like want to put those in pockets all over the place. It just makes it really kind of yes. like the contrast element you're and talking about. And you see about. how we, we try our best not to put two colors too similar next to each other. So this one that you point up here, this neon one, is called Silver Surfer. It is just Silver gorgeous. Silver Surfer. You know what I like it? You can see that it's neon green, but it's got yellow on the tips. Mm -hmm. So it's like, it's different, you know? Okay, and here? Um, oh, no. Oh. What is that one, Sean? And, and actually, the one right next to it, too, with the yellow tips in purple. Below? Oh, that is Jason Fox, uh, the Fox Flame. The Fox Flame. Gorgeous, yeah. gorgeous quotes. It's been around for about five, six years. It is incredible. All right, so. Uh, the green one right the there? The green is Ninja Turtle. Ninja Turtle Ninja. right there. <laughs> Ninja I, 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 one day I gotta know how you guys come up with these. Uh, oh, all right. Blue pastel pops that fluorescence is kind of hard to get um, in that really cool uh, coloration. WBC White Walker. White Walker. White Walker. He Walker. just told me to. Yes. I'm trying, guys. I'm trying. <laughs> White Walker is such a great name because you think ice, but you think white. I, you guys are doing awesome. You know job, what? Man. That is specific acropora right there for some reason it does it for me. They're difficult to get with the baby blue and the white, kind of yep. like I was talking about too legit earlier. Mm -hmm. All right, and uh, you know, a little rarer shape down here. Super old school. That is Vix Lorepes. Vix Lorepes. I had the coral for like 15 years. That is just gorgeous. So I mean, Lorepes is, is actually the type of coral? Yeah, type of acropora, yeah. Yep. Lorepes. Totally different shape, structure. Yeah. Shows you something different uh, than uh, the other types of growth patterns. Yes. Very, very cool. All right, I, I see right here. So again, green, purple tips. Uh, like, yeah, that's actually, it's got pink polyps, that pink. coral. That pink. coral, okay. don't laugh too hard. That is called the budget smuggler. The budget smuggler? <laughs> budget smuggler, like, oh. the, like the swimsuit, like, you know, oh. from Borat. <laughs> oh, <funny. laughs> okay, what about the guy in front? That's the homewrecker, that Jason Fox homewrecker. The homewrecker, so yes. homewrecker meaning uh, if uh, your spouse found out how much you paid for it, it's over. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yes, it's not a cheap, well, it's a little cheaper now. When it first came out, it was very, very expensive and it was wrecking homes. Okay, so that's the nature of it is, like, uh, we, you talked about it earlier, like, there's a bunch of corals in here that are old school, but beautiful, uh, like this guy here. Uh, but uh, there's also, new things that come to the hobby they're discovered they're morphed uh, they just uh, you know they find their way in and the reality is it's just a lot more expensive because there aren't very many of them around but eventually yeah. you know we all grow them out together and then they become available so home record super expensive and hard to find uh, uh, I mean probably difficult to even find one even if you had the money at one point at one uh, point it was, yeah. Yeah, now getting more and more available to everybody. But, yes. I mean, how could you not want those beautiful, big, huge, long polyps and all fuzzy. that different how fuzzy, fuzzy. Yeah, just color, man. I don't know how you wouldn't want that. So, awesome. Right, I'm trying to look here. <gasps> what do you see? What do you see? That big that furry one way down there, red tips, oh my green Lord. polyps. That is our confetti. Confetti, is that, is? that is what it looks oh. like, it's confetti, man. Hippie juice? Uh, hippie juice, sorry, it's not oh, a hip, it's called hip, hippie juice. Hippie juice. Wow. Fake news, guys, sorry, I'm delivering fake news. Fake news, fake news. Okay, all right, let's, uh, man, there's so many here. You know, even, like, I mean, that, you guys don't name them all, but that LV down there just pops as well. I thought you were done with your with your LPS, buddy. What I'm, happened? I'm, I'm, I'm trying we're here to, to pick SPS, man. Come on. You know, so somebody concentrate. Somebody chastised me in the video. They're like, Ryan, you flip flop all the time. I'm like, well, yeah, dude. I I it's love them all. Man. I, I know, like one day, I'm like, oh gosh, I'm just gonna go SPS, and like, oh, I'm like, you know what, dude? I, I'm a human being too, man. I see it. I want it too. And like when they're asking me. You know, uh, like Josh was asking me yesterday, he's like, you telling me you really don't want these awesome ricks in your tank? Yeah. And I'm like, well, no, I didn't say that really. <laughs> <laughs> That's just too funny, man. Uh, yeah, okay, let's move over a, a segment here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. All right, uh, better view of the home record over here. <laughs> yes. Okay, right here. I mean, again, red, green, but like super fuzzy that green. That is it's another like old school piece, very old school. That is this Tyree Rooch Millie. Rooch Millie, yeah. yeah. And then sometimes I mean, having a really solid, beautiful color like this purple here is awesome too, even though it doesn't ha have its own. Uh, blue Monster. Blue monster. Blue monster. Blue monster. You know, that's exactly what it looks like. Finger. What is this one right here? All green. Looks um, like it's tabling. It looks now. similar to the Ninja Turtles. Is that what it is? 
Uh, it's another one of our slimers. Slimer? Slimer. Yeah. So is this a, is it tabling or is, or is it branching? Is I want to say it's branching, but it's like in between. It's one of those in between, okay. but it, it won't fully table. I think it's forced to do that based on the two corals. Oh, the corals are You see the two corals are dictating this shape. The reason why that's happening is the way we're trimming the coral, you know? We do it so they don't sting each other and just we do it on purpose so they start growing certain ways and so they start tabling. You can tell there's like, literally like a half inch or an inch between all of them just to keep a little bit away from each other and to prune them into that effect. Do you notice one thing, Ryan? Like, for instance, this Acropora down here, mm -hmm. those two down there, that one in the middle, you can't see them from the front. No, there's all kinds of you cannot. like beauties that you just can't hiding see next. from the front. Yeah, they're hiding back here because they're just not elevated above the other ones in the front, but they're getting plenty of light and everything from the back here uh, as well. What is this down right there? I mean, it seems like it's something new that you're you growing here. You know, it's here. some sort of right? But we don't have a name that's, for Yeah, them. that's another one we're still growing up. It's a small anything. one. We don't name uh, them until we get them big enough. Right, I'll yeah. be super curious to see how that pans out. That one looks really unique from the other things that are in the tank. Uh, uh, also, let's see here. Uh, I mean, I feel like I must have called this one out from the other side. Yeah, uh, that is the budget smoker. The, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Budgie. Uh, oh, right down there. That that pastel pink and blue one right here. Oh, you got me in that one. This actually, check this out. Look what I'm going to show you in that one before I even ask the name okay. to. You see the very front? Yep. Same coral. At oh, one no point, way. they fought so much that they just split ways and say, look, I don't want you to die. Oh, really? So that coral used to the, bridge that gap. Yeah, the, 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 the pink one came around and it uh -huh. says, hey, I start killing you. And oh, then wow. this guy move around and he says, okay, I'll adapt to you. And so well, you can see it its edge actually is kind of So in two years, the corals are literally moving. You see how there's no room? You don't see any rock here. Oh, okay. I mean, I just, this What's is one of the things you walk way, up and you just get overwhelmed. Are you, like, is it the... The pastel one that he was pointing down, the white one over there? Right. Uh, icebreaker. 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 All right. You like a lot of those light colors. Me too. I, I can't help it. Yeah. Uh, I think you like everything, man. Okay. Right there. I'm hesitant to say it, but is that really an awesome version of just an Oregon tort? It's not just an awesome version. <laughs> That's the original Oregon tort from 20 years ago. Because you can see these things around, but there are different variations of it, different health levels. That one just glows in a different manner than you uh, often see. Uh, again, man, just riddled in here is like the really awesome ricks and everything in here. Um, all right, so, I mean, I'm just gonna be doing this thing. Okay, way out there on the tip, on the front the of that. The deep water on the very front? Yeah. I really don't know, because I know we've been growing this for about a year, and I just we just recently started fragging it. Sean, do you know what it is? Yep, uh, WBC Black Sabbath. Black Sabbath. Black Sabbath. <laughs> oh, oh man, God, you just move your head around, there's like a whole nother wealth of uh, red. This is the brightest, prettiest red of the whole thing in the whole tank, I think. Oh my right lord, there. You, you, you're you challenging me right now, Sean. We need you. I'm out of lives now. That is somewhere over the rainbow. <laughs> somewhere that is, over okay. the rainbow. So let me tell you a little story about that one. I got that one from Steve Tari, I want to say maybe back in 2010, about 12 years ago. And the coral at first looks like reddish with like kind of green polish, but when the coral closes, the base just changes colors. From mm -hmm. like gold, right? Oh, it's really? Just, it's yeah, one it's of incredible. the most incredible millies that you will ever see. Somewhere <sighs> over the rainbow. It is. And something, Steve Tarry named it for us back then, I remember. It's something totally out, out of this world, man. I mean, I don't know. I think I'm going to be doing this for uh, like hours, dude. But I don't know. You can kind of, kind of see like the joy of, uh, you know, picking these things out. You can, uh, I'm doing it here. I love the fact that I get to actually share that you guys can do it too. Uh, you probably won't do a hundred of them at a time, but like just picking out the things that speak to you, I can do it in their store, you can do it on their website. But, man, this is part of the joy of the hobby. And, I, and you know, people talk about names and stuff, but I'm telling you, like, I don't call my dog, dude, a golden retriever. You know, yeah. I, I call it something that speaks to me and you guys are doing that. You're treating them like they're your pets and something that excites you. And I don't know, that whole process speaks to me as well. So now, Ryan, my question to you, everything that you point, you want them? 
A hundred percent. Sit it down, buddy. And uh, you guys will then get to see these things grow out uh, it, at the BRS facility. Uh, it will take a couple of years. Hold so on, we can't be done until you clip at least four or five pieces your own self. Oh, I mean, I, I don't. Do I don't want to mess with your pets, but maybe, care. maybe no, no, we'll no, do at that. At least one or two. Come on. <laughs> All right, you man. Put your hand in there. Where's the bone cutter, Sean? All right. Ready? Yeah. All right. I mean, you said, I could, go, you said I could go snip, snip. Here I am. I mean, I'm terrified. Uh, this is the most beautiful display right, I've ever go seen. Go a little deeper. Okay, little look, this is what you're going to do. You're going to tie and then you're going to twist. All right. And then there we don't go. let go. Just boom. Yep, there you go. Done. Right, grab it with the same. Oh, grab it with grab, this. Yeah. Kind of like use it as twisters. All right. Learn Teaching you the, the tricks. There the you pros. go. You see? There we go. This is the first frag going in. Boom. All right. Is so, look, this is my fear. I'm going to help you out on this okay. one. Okay. All right. Help Let, me out. Because I don't want it to drop after we cut it. Oh, you're going to. All right. Yeah, we don't want it to fall. All right. So, go for it. Do what you got to do. All right. Let's see here. We got. You're going to tie and then twist. Twist. Yep. There we go. Another one in the wow. bucket. There we go. Coming home, baby. Love it. Remember the shape, because I'm going to make sure I'm going to show you guys the same frag when we're in, um, back at Ryan's place. All right. All right. Well, I mean, like, I think I'm going to let you guys get uh, right, final, the rest yellow of them. tips over there. Take oh, a big one. one. I want you to take a big one of the yellow tips over there. Where? Which one over here? All right. So pro level tip here yeah. is so a tight. Tight. Now twist. Now twist. Yeah. And I got it. You got it. Oh, yeah. look at that. Oh, my God. Coming is home. Is he a pro or what? I know. I can do this for a living now. All right. <laughs> I Wanna mean, fill up an application? Uh, yeah. We're I'm looking right. for fragger, guys. We're, uh, boom, man. Look, look at that. So beautiful. You're having too yeah. much fun here, man. I know. We can do this all day now. We're going to mount these three. <laughs> We're going to mount them. You told me you want to make sure nobody takes your frags. I mean, they're special. I clipped them with my them. own hands. That's yes. why. So, so there's no baloney here. No funny business. Oh, we're going to mark them. We're going to mark the plugs. All right. Let's see here. Mark him on the bottom, actually, oh, because it's softer, bottom. yeah. All right, so. Do whatever you want, so you know. There, boom. There you go. All right, boom. This, this is forever mine, Yeah. Right? You guys seeing this, right? Nobody will ever, ever be able to, no Trixies here. <laughs> this is writing, you know? Boom, all right. All right, so Ryan, very easy. Wet your fingertips. Wet your fingertips. All right. Get them wet, your hands. Okay. There you go. And just mix it with your tip. Make sure both hands are wet so it doesn't stick to your hands. All right. There we go. You know what? I've never done the wet fingertips on this stuff. So See, the more you wet it, the less stuff is going to stick to I your hands. I actually tried to keep my fingers not wet before. That's interesting. Oh, no. I usually use that coral gum, but you have to work so fast with that stuff, uh, the tune stuff. All right. So this is what we do, Ryan. All right. We're going to put a little bit of uh, glue, mm -hmm. right, just for contact, just a little bit. And then you're gonna put a two small ones and one big one. All right, so. So two uh, small ones. That look about right? Mm, yeah, that's fine. All right. Another one oh. just like it, and the other one needs to be bigger. Okay, another one like that. Yep, small like that, and then the rest. And then the big guy. There we go. Then we do glue on top. Actually, it's too much glue. We use some of the glue to transfer. Yeah, so at home I do those, uh, uh, again, that tombs coral gums, like dental epoxy, yeah. but you got like 30 seconds to work with that. If you're gonna do yeah, so multiple frags, it gets pretty dicey. So it's funny you said that little trick, the small ones, because they don't weigh a lot, they're instantly done, right? Yep. So when they weigh a little more, they can become a little harder. So one trick, they, oops, look, we got a second frag for you right there. There you go, it's gonna create another little shoot. So yeah, it's inter Little actually an interesting point because I don't actually frag that much out of the tank into frag plugs. What I do is apply the frag plugs into the tank and in the tank, I got to deal with weight uh, yeah. and I want it to stay put for sure. So, so. when you want to do that, you wait till the epoxy is almost hard where you can no use and that's when you glue it. See uh, how right now it's very um, given, very yep. flexible, you know? So if it doesn't stay. There you go. Boom. These three guys coming home. All right, two stores, a whole ton of tanks, one farm, 
cherry pick corals out of here for the 360. All of them are set. I'm ready to bring them home. Your corals are ready. There they are. You guys saw it earlier, and I mean it. I'm so excited. These are gonna be so awesome. Where are two? You got room in your luggage for this? I don't know. I'm just kidding, man. <laughs> I was thinking, me and Josh, we're going a couple weeks and we go and fix your tank, you know, glue all these corals, get to see how all the display tanks are doing and get to chat with you a little bit. All right, so that's what you're gonna see next, which is uh, Victor and uh, Josh coming to install corals. You get to see the ones that we actually picked, uh, all of the cherry pick corals there. You get to see pictures of the mother colonies while we do it. And as a special bonus, some of you remember two and a half years ago or so, BRS hybrid, uh, or BRS I haven't seen that WBC hybrid. Yes, it is filled out. You're all gonna be amazed where it's at, and you'll get to see it then too. All right, looking forward to see it. We'll see you guys then.